With so many people on Parliament Hill, will the government now rethink its cross-border trucking vaccine mandate? What's the response from politicians? We did ask Aaron O'Toole and several members of the Conservative Party to join us this morning, but they were unavailable. But joining me now is the Federal Transport Minister, Omar El Gabra. Good to have you on the program. Minister, what is your reaction to the protest and the message that these people feel that the government's heavy-handed approach is infringing on their freedoms? Good morning, Evan, and it's good to be uh, back on your show. Let me just say um, that most credible trucking organizations have distanced themselves from this protest, including uh, the Canadian Trucking Alliance. And in fact, they've issued several statements, including one, another one yesterday. Uh, and as you and, our, uh, and I are speaking, truckers are delivering for Canadians. They are uh, almost 90% of them are fully vaccinated. They are delivering across the border and ensuring that goods Canadians need are being delivered. Uh, second, um, look, I am um, relieved that so far the protest has been peaceful. Um, I hope that if the protest is going to continue, that it remains peaceful. Uh, it is really important to remind everybody why we have these mandates. I share the frustration that most Canadians have towards public health measures. We all want to get out of the pandemic as quickly as possible. And this is why we have these mandates. It's not the first time that governments mandate public health measures, especially when we are in a pandemic. So these but, but, measures but the, but are necessary. I got to tell you, Minister, I spoke to, I was out there speaking to the, a lot of different people. Um, a lot of them are furious at the Prime Minister for dismissing them as a, quote, fringe minority holding unacceptable views. Uh, they go back to comments the Prime Minister made during the election about people being racist. They felt that they were being dismissed, that they were, they were being disrespected. And that's, that's animated their anger and, and fueling a lot of this. What is the response? Were those statements mistakes? Evan, I'm sure not everyone, obviously, at that protest or people who are sympathetic to that protest are racist. But some of the images and the voices that we heard come out of that protest was alarming. Canadians saw for themselves. We had swastika flags. We had the Confederate flag. We had voices that call for the overthrow of the government. Canadians saw for themselves that some voices are really disturbing and unacceptable. So I understand that there are some people who are sympathetic to the protest for other reasons, but we cannot look the other way. Yesterday was the fifth anniversary for the Quebec mass shooting. Just a few, few days ago, we commemorated the Holocaust Memorial. And we always say, never again. It is alarming to see swastika being flown on Parliament Hill yesterday. So, so Minister, what, what do you make of Conservatives? Uh, Michael Cooper was on the Hill, many others were, and a lot of them say uh, this is a, a few bad apples here in any group of thousands of people. There are a few bad people, but we support the truckers and we support the trucking movement and we support their right uh, to, to hear them. Aaron O'Toole did, Pierre Polyev did. What is your message? Can they, what do you make of their rationale? We don't support those views, but we still support the truckers. The Conservatives need to learn lessons from the past. I was actually shocked to see some conservative MPs, including Aaron O'Toole, flirt with some of these voices that are coming out of this protest. Michael Cooper himself was, uh, you know, a few, couple of years ago, had given voice to the New Zealand mosque shooter. He read that uh, out in the House of Commons. By the way, he's apologized and, for that. He's apologized but, for- But he didn't he, learn his lesson, Evan. He just went out again and wanted to lend his voice, he should quickly and clearly distance himself and apologize once again for lending credence to some of the extreme voices that were he present. Has, this morning he issued, nine hours after he, he appeared on the bill, he, he, he issued an apology. Uh, but, okay, so you don't buy that they can sep the Conservatives can separate themselves from the organizers and some of those message from support for the truckers. Let me just ask you quickly, Minister, on, on the government's end. I know there was months of lead up to removing the exemption for cross-border truckers, but did the government do a bad job on this, rolling this out? Because that is, was the trigger that started this protest that's attracted all sorts of different voices. Um, could you have done a better job either extending the exemption to make sure the rollout was smoother so it didn't uh, pop up into a protest that's taken over the nation's capital? 
Evan, uh, let's be clear. We could always do a better job. So let me start by saying that. Second, let me start by saying it is my job and the government's job to always listen and hear points of view. But let me remind your viewers. Last summer, we put a mandate for all travelers across the border. We exempted truckers, but we did say that it will be coming. Also, last fall, we put a mandate on all workers of the trans transportation right. sector, including federal workers, and that was successful. 19, almost 100% of those who work in the air, rail, and marine right. sectors are fully vaccinated. And then last November, we announced, right. and by the way, we had an election on this. Canadians supported right. the mandate for so there's no chance now, Minister, just, just real quick, no chance after these protests that you will reverse the mandate or, or, or extend the exemption. Is there any chance of that? Evan, it, let's be very clear. The mandate is in place, but also that there's a, a similar mandate at right. the U.S. side of the border. So, uh, you know, it is it's done to, in, to protect the health and safety of Canadians. It's done to protect right. our economy. It's done to protect our truckers and all those workers who work in our supply chains. Okay, Minister, I got to leave it there this morning. Transport Minister Omar El Gabra, thanks for joining us. Thank you.